looks like we have a brand new fully open source AI coding model that was just released today by Together AI, and it's a game changer. Allow me to introduce Deep Coder, a 14 billion parameter model that astonishingly matches the performance of OpenAI's O3 Mini. It's built in collaboration with Agentica. This is where they've released Deep Coder 14B Preview, which was trained through distributed reinforcement learning on 24K verifiable coding problems over just 2.5 weeks using 32H100 GPUs, which is kind of insane. It hits 60.6 percentage pass rate on at one on the live benchmark test at an 8% boost over its base, and it ranks in the 95th point three percentile on code forces with support for only 64 token context it is something that's kind of lightweight but it is still fully open source and it reaches these high levels as o3 mini the model weight the data set the training log as well as the lightning fast pipeline called world pipe is fully open source Deep Coder marks a huge leap forward for the open source community and this is something that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video now i'll leave a link to together ai's blog post on deep coder because it is quite interesting as to how they developed this model for example to train deep coder the team actually curated a high quality data set that contained 24k verified coding problems from trusted sources and they filtered out easy duplicate or broken problems to ensure stable and reliable training the model was also trained in an isolated code sandbox environment so it would be capable of running thousands of unit tests per batch to accurately evaluate its output a strict reward system was also used so that the code that was passed through all the tests would earn a credit which would help prevent the model from learning shortcuts they've also used a smarter training algorithm and gradually increased the model's context length which was enabling it to handle inputs up to 64k tokens i know it doesn't seem a lot but it's still decent for a small parameter size model and to speed things up they also introduced a new system optimization that cuts training time in half and from the benchmark scores you can see that the deep coder does quite well in comparison to these larger models you can see that in comparison to o3 mini o1 deep seek r1 as well as llama 4 behemoth it even beats it but in other cases it does quite well and it stands its ground against these proprietary models except deep seek because they're obviously an open source firm but you can see that it is holding its ground as a small parameter size model and it is definitely doing a great job in comparison to many of these other models this is why today we're going to be testing this model out and showcasing if it is worth actually downloading or not now if you are wanting to get started with this locally you can go over to hugging face copy the model card and install this with something like lm studio or with a chat based ui system like open web ui or you can go ahead and install it with olama and you can easily do this by going ahead and installing the 14b model by running this command within your command prompt and obviously you need to make sure that you have olama installed beforehand and running in the background but say if you want to just try it out to see if this is something that you would want to install you can use glhf.chat which is a way for you to run any open source model for free i believe they have 10 dollar credits that you can use whenever you create an account and this way you can experiment with the model to see if it's actually worth it so if you want what you can do is copy the hugging face model card link for deep coder 14b and then you can head over to glhf and then you can paste in the link and you can then select the model that you want to work with so deep coder 14b and then you can go ahead and click launch and then now you will be able to start interacting and chatting with this model within this interface so let's just get started we're going to start off with something super simple creating a simple crm dashboard app for me and you can see right away it is going to go ahead and start generating the code so now first it is going to create the project structure and then it's going to create the necessary code that is needed for this app to be functional so once it has finished generating everything i'm going to go ahead and paste it into a file and open it up and there we go we finally have all the different sorts of files i'll put it into the main crm dashboard folder and this was what the 14 billion parameter model was capable of outputting which is definitely quite impressive a 14 billion parameter model outputting a front end for a crm dashboard now i simply click on add customer and let's see if you're capable of adding things 
and it actually works which is kind of impressive i thought it wouldn't work and it does look like it shows the total customers now if you go over to the customers tab that was something that it didn't generate which is kind of obvious with the 64k context window but overall i'm definitely impressed to see that it was capable of doing this now next up i'm gonna have it send over a hard prompt to generate an svg code for a symmetrical elegant butterfly illustration now as we all know this is a prompt that many models tend to fail at there's only a handful of models like the new gemini 2.5 pro a couple of the different open ai models but some of them don't even generate it perfectly deepseek r1 does but you can see that this is a really difficult prompt and to be honest i'm kind of wondering if this model can actually output this based off the first performance i saw from it so let's go ahead and copy this and paste it into an svg online viewer so i've copied the code and we're going to go ahead and paste it in here and this is how it looks so i guess it got the antenna right it got i guess the the eyes right the body's decent it's just the wings that aren't attached as well as everything else so it did fail but i'm definitely surprised to see that it did kind of get a bit of it right now i'll just simply go back into the chat uh chat interface and ask it could you please improve the design because it doesn't look anything like a butterfly so one thing you'll notice whenever you're chatting with this model is that it talks to itself and you can see that it is working on trying to find a solution for this and now it looks like it has generated a new code snippet for this butterfly representation so hopefully this looks a lot better i'm not expecting it to generate it and it still looks pretty much the same as the last one it's just the wings got closer i guess but overall this is definitely kind of unfortunate but as expected for a 14 blade parameter model to not actually complete this task in this case i'm requesting it to do another task in svg and i'm asking it to create a smiley face and it does get the job done i tested it out which is pretty great to see but in terms of generating complicated svg code it can't actually do this but overall it's pretty decent in most of the cases with front-end development as well as creating functional uh, dashboards with different tools now what i also noticed is that this model does a decent job in debugging different code snippets this is where i have provided faulty code and i'm asking it just to simply fix the faulty code without identifying what's wrong in this case you can see there's a missing self in method definition there's also a couple of other errors like uh not having or having the wrong data type for age uh the greeting method doesn't return anything and you can see that it reasons to itself works on finding a solution and at the end if you keep scrolling and this is basically the output i got it is technically correct where the code will run based off of the fixes that it made but the only thing that is incorrect is the string over here which says 25 when it should have been a number value as 25 and you can see that overall the output would be great and it did fix the different definitions that were faulty and this is why i really think that this could be a great model that you could use if you do not have the resources to run bigger or larger models on your local computer now at the end of the day all of these different benchmark scores always show that it's the best model whenever a new model drops but what i definitely recommend that you do is try it out yourself to see if it is even worth using or to get a better understanding if it is actually what it actually holds up in the benchmark scores this is why i never trust benchmark scores and usually just test it out on my own to see if this is something that is capable and worth using but overall i think that this is a great 14 billion parameter size model the only negative is the context window but aside from that it is open source everything is uh, available for you to access the open weights as well as the training and anything that you see over here is fully accessible so that is the plus side but i hope you enjoyed today's video guys and got some sort of value let me know what you guys think about deep coder i'll leave all these links in the description below follow me on the newsletter the discord make sure you follow me on twitter and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas